Hello everybody, it's Erebus Ignis here and welcome to For The Kingdom. This is my new YouTube series. I've never made one before. Also, big learning curve for me. This is the first time that I have played Minecraft on the PC. Never done it before, never really tried it, only ever been on the Xbox. But we'll see how it goes and you and I will see how this turns out together. And look, I've even brought a flower for you. Look at that, hey? Look at that, a flower. Just for you. Let's get on with it. Okay, so not where I wanted to shoot this next scene. However, we did just get blown out of bed by a rude creeper first thing this morning. What I'd like to do is talk to you a bit about what it is we're going to be doing in this series before I carry on any further. As you can see, my camp was just up there on the hill. What what we're going to be doing essentially is each each episode, I'm going to be doing a time lapse of different buildings, maybe maybe a couple of time lapses in each episode, but ultimately it is going to be the day-to-day -day running of a kingdom building houses, blacksmiths, tanners, taverns and castles, all for your entertainment, as well as building a thriving villager community. And, uh, well, we'll see how that goes. So, onward with the journey. We need to find ourselves a village so we can have some of those villagers. Okay, let's go. As you can see, we've finally found ourselves our village. It looks like a good location. It could prove to be a bit challenging building a kingdom here, but nonetheless... Oh, we have, a, oh, we have ourselves a golem. We have ourselves a golem, that's good. Some additional protection that we can use. But first thing we need to do is make sure all these lovely villagers are safe and lock them up in their houses. Yeah, trust me, it's uh, it's for their own good. In you go. It's, excuse me sir, it is for your own safety that you please return to your residence. Come on. Her to you too. Her. Her. Come on, come on. <sighs> oh, I guess there's just no helping some people. So this is a this is going to be my little camp for the moment, just until we've built ourselves a new house in this village. Wait, there's two churches in this village. In all my long years, these must be the most faithful villagers in the world. What what is it you want? What what? Can you see I'm trying to record here? Ah. <laughs> Rude. Okay, so as I was saying, ah. this is my this is my new tent. This is where I'm going to be living. I think it's a bit unfair if I take one of the houses off of these guys. Ah. So I'm going to be living here for the moment. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to cut to a quick time lapse of me mining for the resources that I'm going to need to build the house, and then we'll uh, we'll move on to that.
as you can see, we finished our mining there. We did come across some quite strange things down there, which weren't included in the, uh, the in the short speed through. Um, there was a strange noise. Can anybody tell me what this is? I mean, what the hell was that? As I said, I am new to PC Minecraft, and that scared the hell out of me. In the meantime, so, I've been thinking, we need a plan. Yes, a plan. I've been going through the list, and there's quite a few buildings that we actually need to build. So I've thought of a few. Let's stick them on the board. Butcher. Baker. Sawmill. Fletcher. I think that's about right. Tanner. farm. Although we may make that one large farm, I haven't decided yet. We'll put some question marks. So as you can see, we've got we've added a few more things onto this board. We've added uh, blacksmith, castle keep, stonemason, library, market, and the most important one, obviously, a tavern right there. That is essential. So here we have it guys, this is our build site for our new house. Uh, I know it might seem a bit small, but trust me, from humble beginnings come great things. Let's get on with the time lapse.
Well, there you have it, guys. That's the uh, that's the house. Well, our starter house, anyway. Let's give you a quick tour around the building. Ooh. So, as you can see, here we have the uh, the front of the building. I've gone for a bit more of a gothic style than a, rather than a straight up medieval. Um, I tried something new. I've not done it before. This framing around the window using fence posts. Um, I'm not sure. I have seen it in other places before, but uh, I, I quite like it. Uh, obviously, I've gone with red, uh, which is a bit different to just the normal greys that you see on medieval houses as well. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with that corner there just yet. I may do some sort of lean-to where we uh, where we can stack hay bales and chests or, or barrels or something like that. Um, so yeah. I've got to be honest, as I was finishing that chimney off, I wasn't entirely sure if I liked it or not, but looking at it down from the ground here, it has grown on me, uh, and I'm really happy with the back of the building. I definitely feel like with the side of the building, uh, something I'm definitely going to add is going to be a window into the roof, just to just to make it look, just to make it stand out a bit more, because that roof looks very big, very plain, and uh, yeah, obviously we want it to, well, look interesting. So with the inside here, as you can see, we haven't done anything yet, but um, we're going to cut to a couple of frames where you're going to see it transform from what it is currently now into, well, what, it, what it's going to be. We have the basement here with my, my very basic storage area. Um, I've done this brickwork sort of stuff on the walls here. If you go to some like really old basements where the where the rendering is starting to come away, you can see areas where they've re-bricked it or the brickwork's starting to show. And here we have the first floor. Again, we're gonna we're gonna flesh it all out. This is where my bedroom, my armor stands, and uh, and all that kind of stuff's gonna go. And finally, the loft and second floor area. I'm gonna put all my enchantment stuff up here. Uh, as you can see, same as the rest of the building. No shortage of space. I told you at the beginning that although it looks small, great things come from humble beginnings. So. There you go, join me shortly and then we'll have a look at the building together once I've finished kitting it out a little bit, making it a bit more interesting. One, two, three and we're done. And there we go guys, that's the build finally done. Uh, that's the outside of it done anyway. Inside there's a couple of rooms that we still need to add stuff to but we'll work on that throughout the season because we don't have the items for them just yet. Uh, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of what I've done, um, so come with me. So as you can see, what I've done is I've added this kind of well-worn, well-worn path because around, you know, around the house you're going to have quite a lot of people traffic coming in and out. So the plants aren't going to grow very well anyway. I did add some barrels in the, around the outside here just to sort of break it up and make it look a bit more interesting. I might add a hay bale or two in time, but for now I'm quite happy with what we've got. Got a nice little tactically placed light source right there. Uh, did add the canopy. It's not quite the canopy that I was expecting to add at the start, but I do like it anyway. Uh, so as you can see, there you go. It's quite a big house. <laughs> quite a big house indeed. On the inside, there's plenty of space. A little bit more space than I was expecting to have, actually, which is why I've struggled to fill some of the rooms up. Added that window I said about, and that has really broken up that large... Well, it wasn't really flat, but that large blank section of roof there and has made it look a lot more interesting especially from a distance so let's go and have a look indoors indoors i've added some simple furniture as i say we're quite poor at the moment so we haven't got all of the materials that i wanted to use but let's say we've added some basic furniture got a fire here i'm gonna add some mob heads along there when i start collecting them as like little trophies uh, got the kitchen area uh, on the kitchen area i've hung up some like herbs uh, might add some beetroot at some point. Got a little smoker in the back and that looks quite nice. Unfortunately, the cupboards, they are bare because uh, we're poor. So we've got no food and that makes me kind of sad. But um, I'm going to have some real food soon because it's getting, getting near lunch and I still haven't eaten today. <laughs> Uh, let's go have a little look upstairs. Upstairs we've um, we've built a bedroom. We've built a bedroom that looks quite nice. Found this bed design online a little while back, um, but I can't remember where I saw it. Using these banners as pillows, and that looks quite nice. And I've never never actually thought about using signposts to like border a bed before, but yeah, very effective. I really like it. Over here we've got my little workstation, my desk, unfortunately it is not modelled on my actual setup at home, uh, this probably actually looks nicer, but this is where we're going to keep our, our log book and keep track of everything we've got going on in the kingdom. Got a nice little, little shelving area, 
got it got some important things hanging there got my helmet which is never going to move so i'm gonna have to make another helmet or it ruins the whole design got a nice cupboard uh, I, I like these cupboards i've used them for a long time um uh, they, they're very handy and they fit in quite well using doors and and hatches uh not hatches trap doors to to make a very small compact design as you can see it's getting dark outside now Ooh try and get upstairs before the sun goes down just so you can see what the sun looks like setting outside of this massive window that we've got so that looks pretty good up here is where has obviously all my enchantment stuff's going to go but we don't have that yet it is something that we will get in time and yeah that'd be fantastic so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to quickly jump in my in my bed and uh we're going to go to sleep and then we'll fit, wrap the video up there well there you go everybody, that's the end of my first episode, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We we had a massive learning curve through the whole experience. I think there's about 10 hours I've been on this world so far for what is equivalent to about 18 minutes of footage. And yeah, learning learning all the stuff with the, with the editing software and that is still something I'm working on and hopefully we'll get better at it in time. What do you mean hopefully? I definitely will get better at it with time. Um, but yeah, if you liked it, please leave us a comment. If you've got any suggestions, that'd be amazing. Um, just leave just leave some feedback. It'd be everything's helpful and um, I'll see you in the next episode which will be in next Saturday. Next Saturday it should be out next episode episode two of For the Kingdom. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.